Yo, what's poppin' everybody? This is another podcast with Otis P. If you enjoy this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos like this one. This time I'm going to talk about the Milwaukee Bucks Phoenix Suns game that ended a few minutes ago in Phoenix, Arizona. The final score was 105 to 118. The Phoenix Suns got the win. As I expected personally, because I consider them favorites for getting the title. And that's, of course, because of Chris Paul and Devin Booker. They're amazing. They're an amazing duo. A dynamic duo. You can call them like, I don't know, Batman and Robin or something like that. It's amazing how the Phoenix Suns had 24 out of 24 free throws. I mean, that goes to show how crafty they are and how talented and gifted they are as players. Of course, the truth is that the Milwaukee Bucks didn't play good defense on Devin Booker. He took a lot of easy shots, and of course, he scored because he's an amazing player. I think Chris Paul had 32 points, and he started scoring since the second quarter, and Devin Booker had 27 Johnson, Payne, and Forbes were also good for Phoenix. DeAndre Ayton got 19 boards, 19 rebounds. That's amazing. He's a great center. On the other hand, the Milwaukee Bucks only had uh, Antetokounmpo playing good for them. Giannis, as they say. Of course, I'm going to say it with the Greek accent, Giannis. The Bucks scored 14 out of 33 pointers, which is amazing actually, but they still didn't manage to pull through because the game was an open game with a lot of points being scored, which of course is in favor of the Phoenix Suns that are more talented. If the Bucks don't play good defense, they're going to be in trouble. As I said in the beginning, I consider the Phoenix Suns a better team. And I believe that they will become the the champions of the NBA. And it's going to be well-deserved. From what I can recall, I think they sweeped my New York Knicks. So that goes to show how amazing they are. So even if you play tough D on them, you're not going to achieve anything because they're so amazing in offense. I mean, having Devin Booker and Chris Paul in your team the best veteran of the NBA and the best youngster of the NBA. Two great American players. So anyway, that's all I had to say for now. It's a wrap. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Peace.